Okay, so the next demo I'm going to go on to is a, an FME server demo. So let me just go and close this. So I'm going to connect up to my FME server instance. Uh, it's sort of up there, that's fine. Okay, so there's my, um, my FME server instance. I have this FME server 2.fmw file. I just want to download that just so I can show you what it looks like. Okay, this is a very simplistic um, workspace again, just to show over the concept. So we're reading from small, from small while we're reading, in this case, min roads, uh, parks, and hotels from a Cambridge demonstration data set. We're breaking the geometries up because we have complex geometries. We're breaking them into individual geometry components. And then we're going to write them into a, uh, a generic writer. So if I, over here, you can see the generic writer has the ability to actually define the output format on the fly. So if I can specify, in this case, the default is AutoCAD. I can specify shape or whatever else I want. So I can just go through and actually see that information directly and, and just specify how I want to send the information out. Uh, I can also specify the input min x, min y, max x, max y, coordinates, coordinates extents that I want to read the data from. So I'm just going to go into my FME server environment and I'll show you the... There's my FME server um, to uh, workspace file. If I log in on the user side, go into the data download, SBS FME Server 2. I'm just going to click and run that one, just let it run. So this is, this is going to put no spatial bounds on. It'll go off, submit the job, and it will read it, and it will store it as an AutoCAD file. So if I open that up, go that, go that. So now if I open up, there's my file there. If I open up AutoCAD and just drag and drop that file into there. Where's it gone? Okay, so obviously decided it was going to do. So there's my uh, AutoCAD export file. Information on the layers, etc., as the data is pulled out. So that's just using the the data download service within FME Server to process the data, which is kind of nice, you know, in terms of uh, working. I also now want to show a different environment, and this is based on a demonstration um, set that, um, that Safe actually offer with the FME Server. And in this case, I have a little Google demo, obligatory Google demo. So this is my predefined Google boundary, which is looking at the Cambridge database in the UK. I have the ability to zoom in, pan around. And then once I've panned around where I want to be, I can then say, OK, here's, here's my area. There's my area of interest. Select the objects I want to download. I'm going to pull them all down. In this case, I'll store them in shapefile, go off and submit that request. Uh, for demonstration purposes, it shows me what the request is goes off and runs, there's my result come back, open that up. And I will save that into, excuse me, I'll save that into a directory. Now if I open up um, our map. and I just select the shape files. Okay, so there's the data that was pulled in. So, so basically, there's you know exporting features, storing them into shapefile format, here's the attributes associated with them. So it's all there. So basically that's just kind of showing that capability of, um, of, of using FME server with a GUI, with a, a Google Maps GUI to actually um, integrate and read data out. 